So today we are going to learn how to type on a path. You've seen this on t-shirts with logos and the ever popular vintage sunset style designs. It's definitely something that you'll be using quite often, but before we get started, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you. Okay, first thing we want to do is draw an ellipse. Uh, let's go ahead and add a new layer here. Um, come over to the shape tool. Uh, scroll down to your ellipse. Uh, make sure fill is deselected. Make sure stroke is selected with black. Um, I've got a 70 point or 70 pixel stroke there. Um, hold down shift and mouse right about here. Just drag out to something about that big. There you go. Um, hit the move tool here so the align tools will show up. Click center there, uh, wrong one, center there. Uh, then mouse over here to the layer um, on the thumbnail, you'll see this little square box. You wanna hold down control and click there. What that did was that selected the outline of this ellipse. Now we need to make a work path to type on. To do that, you need to select the marquee tool, click here, it doesn't matter which one you select, but uh, typically the rectangle marquee tool is already selected. Bring the mouse over here, right click, scroll down to make work path. Tolerance at two pixels is fine. Hit OK. Now, let's go ahead and switch the foreground color to black so we can see what we're actually typing. Come to the text tool, bring the text tool over here, and you can see it's a normal text icon or um, cursor until you bring it to this work path and then this little curvy line shows up. That means that we're gonna be typing on a path Make sure that you have a center text selected up here at the top. <clears throat> You're gonna want that. Also, make sure you have this zeroed out, uh, the baseline shift. You want that at zero. I just pretty much have everything set at zero or you know their standard settings. Uh, I do have uh, all caps on. Uh, we're using impact for this. Um, scroll down, kind of like in the center is a good idea. To go ahead and click. All right, so now we can print around this path. I'll just go ahead and start typing here so you can see it. P R I N T on the mand. There you go. We've just printed uh, some text on this circle. Now you can use this to grow it. Pretty cool. Um, I think that's about good for us. Now the baseline is really useful here because if you want to get it off that line, give it some separation. If you're going to leave this stroke here, as or if you had a circle in your design and you just wanted to print around it, the baseline is how you do that. You can give it some separation. Uh, I'm going to hit the move tool. It makes it a little easier. With this selected, selected, I think you can still adjust the baseline. Yeah, you can. You can actually see it. Pretty neat. Now. I'm sure you've seen there's text along the bottom as well. A good trick to do this easily is to go ahead and make a copy of this. So with this text layer highlighted, go ahead and hit Control J, make a copy. Uh, turn off layer visibility for the lower one. Double click on here. Let's go ahead and type in university. Is that right? Universe. Nope. University. Okay. There we go. So we've got that, but we want it down here. And how we do that is you come over to the path selection tool, click on that. And if you scroll up here, you see these two little arrows pop up. And now what that means is you have control of the path. You click, drag down. We don't want it actually there. We want it there. And it may look like, wait a minute, I don't want it there, but you do. And how you fix that is you use the baseline tool. And if you go to negative, it'll bring it below the circle. There you go. Let's increase that. And go ahead and turn on this visibility so you can kind of see what this gap is here and kind of match it there. Uh, if you select it, it works a little easier. When it's not selected, it doesn't work so fluent, fluidly. Move tool. There you go. 
And so when you have these selected and you use the path tool, this is how you can actually start to center these things a little better. If, it, if it's being a little weird, bring it up. You can drag it you know, side to side, position it where you want it. But that's it. Not too hard. It's a little more advanced than our most of our other tutorials, but uh, you'll be using this a lot. So for this next one, uh, I'm going to show you a little trick that I've learned to make things um, easier. There's a bunch of designs that you'll see that have text on a path, but, but it really is just text on a kind of a semi-circle, like, like the top of a circle. You'll see it's like slightly bended um, text up here. and. Uh, the way a lot of people do is they just make a giant circle with the ellipse tool and size it um, just to so you have just a slight bend in it. But there's an easier way to do that. If you have the rectangle tool selected, let's go ahead and make the fill black. I still am on the background layer. We need to select a new layer here or uh, work on a new layer. So I just add a new layer here. Rectangle tool selected. Um, turn off stroke add fill to black um, let's go ahead and come pretty much all the way over this corner and just make this thin little line like that okay let's go ahead and center it we can go ahead and center it all the way down now uh, the trick here is to press control T and that gives us the warp tool functions so um, if we click on that then we can come over to warp custom we want to Switch it to arc. Now we can adjust the arc how we want it. And so let's just say that that looks good. And just like in the previous section, we want to come down here to the thumbnail, hover over this little uh, square in the corner of the thumbnail, hold down control, click. There we go. Now let's make a work path. Go to the marquee tool, bring the mouse over here, right click make work path again two pixels is fine there we go first off let, let's go ahead and zero out this baseline so we don't get it in a weird position okay I guess probably 160 pixels is fine Come over to text make sure that it's black again scroll down till you see the little the, the, the thing pop up that tells us that we're on a path make sure you have center uh, sensor text align selected Click on that. There you go. We want to type. Let's just say camping. There you go. Let's go ahead and increase the size of this. Camping. All right. There you go. And you just deselect the uh, work path layer, and you can just drag this wherever you want. There you go. Center. 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 Be down at the bottom. And, and again with the warp tools you can do it the other way as well so you know control T if you have this rectangle selected click on the warp tool there custom arc it's gonna come up with our controls and you can actually bend it the other way just by scrolling if you wanted to do text slightly bent on the bottom of a shirt there you go well, that's it guys i hope you enjoyed it if you found this useful please subscribe and click the like button for me and if you have any other questions or comments or other things that you'd like to see in future tutorials please leave it in the comment section below and i'll see you on the next one